What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and today's video I assure you is going to be a fun video. We have the announcement of the April monthly challenge. We have a workout. We have a full day of eating. It's a jam-packed video. A little longer than I normally make it so if you make it all the way through to the end, huge thank you. <laughs> Let me know if you like this kind of a format. Comment below. I want to give a huge thank you to my sponsor of this video, Thrive Market. Um, they are an online grocery store that is top notch, but more on that later. So let's hop into today's video. So everybody's been wanting to know, what is the April monthly challenge? So first of all, this is so cool that so many people have been following along and actually being enthusiastic about all of the monthly challenges. I'm crazy and the fact that you guys are all doing it with me makes it really cool and less isolating. Like it's, we're all doing it, we're all in it together. So thanks for joining along with all of my monthly challenges. So March, March's monthly challenge of spring cleaning, organizing pantries, getting projects done to set yourself up for the April or segment yourself into the April monthly challenge was like there was a method to the madness. So the April monthly challenge is, can you guess it? The whatever it takes challenge. Now, I'm wearing red because I'm gonna put the flame suit on because I'm gonna probably get a lot of heat for what I'm about to say. But if you truly listen to what I'm about to say and get it, this is gonna be a great challenge for you. What is the whatever it takes challenge? Well, it simply is as simple as that. Whatever it takes, or I should say you, do whatever it takes to get it done. I am on like a three month summer cut summer shred you know like i'm getting down to my goal weight i'm giving my i'm giving it my all these next three months i came rejuvenated from my vacation i had a great solid month of getting projects and stuff that was extra noise around my house taken care of so that i have literally three months to focus on getting to my goal weight so i had 30 pounds left to lose. I'm now down to 29 pounds left to lose to get to my goal weight of 179 pounds. So what was basically the inspiration to this whole monthly um, challenge is basically I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it done. Now, couple notes. For the first thing, you got to do you. That's the beauty of this whatever it takes challenge. If you need to do something in order to get to your goal, whether that be put a challenge where you want to w walk 10 miles a week, uh, you want to go to the gym regularly, or you know, honestly, five days a week, you know, whatever your goal is going to be, this is the whatever it takes challenge. So for me, my goal is getting to my goal weight. So that means I'm going to be working out every single day. Um, with an exception on the weekends because my kids have softball games and it's too hectic. But that means during the week, my I am grinding and pounding the pavement to get that whatever it takes mentality done so that I get to my goal. So that also means that you stay in your own lane. If somebody else is doing their own thing and you need to keep your eyes on your own paper, stay in your own lane and don't worry about what they're doing, how they're doing, just you do what you what you believe in. So that means if you don't want, if you want a super clean keto where you don't have any gluten, you don't have any sugar, no processed foods, just basics, like basics, protein, vegetables, and fats, green vegetables and fats, you do you. If you are somebody who wants to do lazy or dirty keto, you do you. But don't be judging somebody else for how they do their keto or how they choose to lose their weight. You know, this, this is something that I've been struggling with myself because obviously I'm a very public in the way I'm doing my weight loss journey. The fact that the past couple of videos I've mentioned I'm on a high protein, low carb diet, I'm expecting lots of heat for that because I'm a keto channel. But it doesn't take away from the point that I lost over 130 pounds on keto. I'm just tweaking the home stretch, you know? I'm making it more sustainable. I'm, I'm transitioning out of a weight loss mode into a maintenance mode, you know? There's a lot going on within my journey. So 
my eyes are on my paper and I can't worry about people having a problem with how I do my journey. You know, how I lose my weight, the choices that I make, because after all, it's my story, it's my journey. So, and that goes for other people. Like there's so many keto police out there, like for the love people, leave them alone. You know, if, so instead of shaming somebody for having a low carb tortilla, Stay in your own lane. If that's what they want to do, just let that be. Whatever it takes to get you your goal. So if that means having a low carb tortilla that might have some wheat gluten in it, it is what it is. Ignore it. Leave it alone. How does that choice on their journey, journey affect you? You know, so that's something I want to really drive home. You have to do you, keep your eyes on your own paper and do whatever it takes for you to get it done. So for some people, clean, Clean keto is going to be the way to go. For some people, maybe they're going to do carnivore. For some people, maybe low carb, high fat. For some, maybe just low carb, you know, maybe not so strict, making it a lifestyle. Maybe, you know, maybe some people want a protein bar. Some people want a protein shake. It's okay. So this is your chance to do whatever it takes to get it done. And if that means you need to have a low carb tortilla pizza for lunch, you do you, it's okay. You know, whatever it takes, it's still better than going to Burger King and sitting through the long takeout line and eating a bunch of crap. You know, it's still a better choice. And that's the point that gets, and it's still a better choice and it's still something where you're trying to change your life and make a difference. You can always tweak things as you learn about ingredients, but if you're in the beginning of keto and you don't know what to do, there's no reason why just taking it slow isn't a great solid option. If you go balls to the wall and do every, everything to please everybody, your journey is no longer your journey. It's the, everybody else's. So that's why I'm like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. And if, so if that means I need to have a high protein, low carb, you know, moderate fat approach right now, I'm going to be okay with that. And I'm going to own my truth because it's going to take, it's going to come down to whatever it takes to get me to my goal. So, and each person's goals is going to be different and it's going to be okay. Your job, instead of being the police or the skeptic or the judger, your job is to just support somebody else for the choice that they're trying to make a difference in their life. Be there for them. And if they, if they want to learn more or, you know, you can give them information like, you know, I know a lot about this. If you ever want some advice or maybe somebody to bounce ideas off of, I'm here for you. That's your role. Your role is not to police them. So, and that's why this whole next, this month's journey basically is the same as um, May's journey because it's going to be, I'm on this until I get to my goal weight. So my whatever it takes challenge is going to bring me through to the summer. Um, I'm going to add tidbits and stuff that I'm learning and doing along the way, but it's still the main thing is a summer shred. And in order to get to the summer shred, we're going to do whatever it takes. So the main thing is everybody has a different approach. Nobody is right. Nobody. The only thing that you're right on is what you choose is best for you. And sometimes it's not always the best choice. I have made lots of stumbles on this channel where I'm like, yep, that wasn't a good idea. Learn from that, move on, you know, bless and release. So, um, and that's what I'm talking about. So when I see people tearing somebody a new one because they had a low carb tortilla and made a pizza out of it for lunch. Like, who are you? Like, what the heck? You know, it's not your business. Stay in your own lane. It makes me so mad. So, I mean, I get my sh I get a load of that on my channel because I'm not perfect. I don't follow all the rules. From the start, I've never been a high fat keto person. I've always done moderate fat. That's been my jam. It works for me. I like it, but I get a lot of fat. That's not keto. You're not eating enough fat. You're, you know, like just so much judgment. So this journey to you, my challenge to you is tune out that noise and do what's best for you. And don't, don't worry about what everybody else is thinking. You do you and do whatever it takes. And for me, you know, like I eat lots of protein shakes. I do lots of protein bars. You know, a lot of those things, a lot of people are like, ah, you know, don't, don't do that. But I'm going to do whatever it takes, you know? So and it's, and it's okay because I have my own goals and I'm going to do things my way because it's my journey. I'm going to own it. Um, and at the end of the day, all that matters here is that you are making a change to be healthier, not be perfect. Make this a healthy lifestyle that's sustainable, 
not a fad diet. You know, that kind of thing. We're looking for consistency, something that will keep you going. And what matters is you, you're just trying to be healthier because any of those choices, whether they be dirty keto, clean keto, lazy keto, carnivore, any of that is still better than the standard American diet, period. Where it's full of processed foods, processed sugar, loads of just crap in your food. You know, like any choice that I just said is better than that standard American diet. So Thrive Market, thrivemarket.com is an online grocery store that has super affordable goods that you can buy online and have them shipped directly to your door. Now, I am a huge fan of Thrive Market because when I go to my camp in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, where we don't have access to all the good stuff that you can purchase locally here in a grocery store. So I have trouble getting all types of keto ingredients when I'm in New Hampshire. So I use Thrive a lot over the summer and also, I like to buy a lot of supplements for vitamins and stuff. Their prices are significantly cheaper than my local store. So those savings make it so worth it. So when you go to thrivemarket.com, you can search by whatever diet that you want. You know, anything from keto to vegan to paleo to, you know, just whatever, organic. And you can browse through the categories. It's tailored, it's specific, it's really well written, and it's a great and easy navigable site. So if you want to have your groceries delivered in a pandemic, this is a great way to get all of those healthy options at an affordable price. There's two membership options. The first one, you can be billed monthly or you can be billed once a year. The monthly option is $9.95 a month. If you bill annually or once a year, it turns out to be $5 a month or $59.95. So and if you use my special link and join today, you get 25% off your order plus a free gift. And shipping any order over $49 is free. Quickly, a couple other tidbits of info. You have guaranteed savings. Members save on average $32 on every order. There's also an app so you can shop on your phone. Every membership that signs up is a one for one membership where a lower income family also gets a free membership. So it's a great way to help out while saving you money and making your life pretty simple. <laughs> We got Thrive! Yay! Hey, where's your order? My order from Thrive. <laughs> Let's go see what's in this box. It's a big one. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. First things first. These are delicious. They're basically Swedish fish that are keto friendly. So that's the first thing I got. I love this blueberry mix by Lecanto. Um, I can't always get this in my store locally. So it's one thing I like to have on hand for the weekends. Um, ground flaxseed. I've been experimenting with a lot of baked goods with using flaxseed to help with the baking flours and it gives it some body and some texture and yum. So Thrive actually has their own brand. Um, I wasn't sure, yeah, this one is the Thrive Market brand. So it was a little cheaper. I like to buy store brand or generic brand stuff. So <laughs> I found these when I first started keto, delicious snack cracker, put some cream cheese on it and delish. Another Thrive Market brand of chia seeds. This is a great way to get extra fiber into your diet and extra just feel fuller when i do stir fries um, i'll throw some of this some chia seeds in there anything that's too soupy you can easily soak it up with some chia seeds they're pretty tasteless and they're good um, and i also put those on salads this is a new flavor i have not tried apple cider vinegar so these i'm excited about i will give you a follow-up if these are any good <laughs> So I got two of the Swedish fish and two of the sour gummy bears. If you're a fan of Sour Patch Kids, 
You'll love the keto approved or keto friendly sours treats as well. And then we have a red curry and Thai paste. I want to make, a, I'm just feeling like I want a Thai dish this week. So I got some chicken and I needed some red curry paste to make it with. So I thought we'd try that one. This one caught my eye as something just to try. Um, flatbread pizza crust. It looks like you can make maybe an English muffin. I'm not sure it was intriguing, so I grabbed one. <laughs> That's an experiment. If it's good, I'll follow up. These I bought for my husband. These are his absolute favorite. These are not keto, but this is something that I will admit these are delicious. They're gluten-free pretzels filled with peanut butter. So definitely not keto approved. These are for Kyle, but I may, I may sneak one or two. <laughs> and I also, if you don't like um, just a savory flavor of flackers, there's a new, I have not seen this one yet. Maybe in my grocery stores just don't carry it, but it's a black seed, black sesame seed and black pepper. So again, these are great keto snack crackers. And then we have if you're in, if you have kids that how would you even describe seaweed snacks? My kids are obsessed. So the weirdest things they're obsessed with. So this is one brand of seaweed snacks. They will mow through these in like two days. And then I also got a bigger. I also got a bigger size one by the Thrive Market brand. Again, you get more um, and a slightly cheaper than what I can get locally. So being that my kids eat them so quick, these are organic as well. Grab those. I always like to keep this in stock. I like to make, you know, sometimes you just want like a Starbucks type coffee or maybe a, a treat, vanilla Lakanto syrup. This one's really good. Highly recommend. This is a Food Stirs Junk Free Bakery Keto Chocolate Chip Cookie Mix. Complete trial here. I have no idea. It could be horrible. If it's good, I'll follow up. <laughs> and then one of the main reasons why I have my Thrive Market uh, membership is because these are so much cheaper through Thrive than locally. This brand is called Garden of Life. I purchased these, these immune gummies for my kids. Um, they're sugar-free. They're sweet with monk fruit, I believe it is. Um, so it's a, and it's, they taste really good. I've even tried them. Um, the way to get kids vitamins without any, you know, griping from them, they enjoy these every morning. I give them two a day. I have two kids, so that's four gummies a day. I go through them pretty quick. Um, and also being that in this time of COVID, I like to give my kids D3. So these are D3 gummies, sugar-free, and I we go through them so much that it becomes very expensive to give your kids these type of supplements. So these at Thrive are like $7 cheaper than what I can get locally. So being, it's just something I order all the time and I've made back my, my membership price be just on gummies. <laughs> But it's like it, this little little things like that that make the the Thrive membership worth it. And then here we have I'm not sure I don't remember, <laughs> but they if you were curious if you can get like you know stuff that is breakable, they are all packaged very well, um, recyclable materials that kind of thing. One thing I've been doing lately is oil pulling. That means you swirl coconut oil in your mouth as a way to brush your teeth. We'll talk about that along in another video, but this I'm going to keep in my bathroom. So when I, I put on my makeup, I usually do oil pulling then. Um, you don't swallow it. It's a whole, we'll just talk about it in a whole other video, but I bought this for my bathroom because we're not cooking with that one. <laughs> and the next thing we have. is sesame oil. I like to make lots of stir fries, so I always need sesame oil. It makes a lot of flavor with using just a little bit. And the last thing we have, drum roll. Try not to break it and drop it. 
is I have yet to try the Thrive Market brand of marinara sauce. So, hey, why not? So we're gonna give this a test and we will follow up. Um, but if it's, it's like the rest of their stuff, I'm sure it's gonna be great. So again, no chagrin, yummy. And that is my Thrive Market haul. So let's make some lunch. Okay, so it is lunchtime and I'm gonna zoom in. Let's change that camera angle so you can see what we're doing here. So I have boar's head turkey for lunch. This is Kyle's plate. <laughs> Remember in the Thrive Market video, I mentioned the apple cider vinegar paleo puffs. He's having them for lunch and he says Kyle approved. So he's doing the homemade protein bread that we've made um, with some turkey and that's his lunch. <laughs> I, on the other hand, We'll have slightly different. All right, so get the trusty scale out, zero it out. All right, and I'm looking for five ounces of turkey. We're gonna do turkey roll-ups, but just to measure it out. So we have three ounces there. Like two more slices should do it. Five ounces, there we are. Actually, six ounces. I can't remember anything anymore. Six ounces. All right. Five and three quarters. Six ounces. Winner, winner. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just roll this up into little roll-ups. And we're going to use mustard to dip. Okay. So we have six ounces of turkey. And... Do a big squirt of mustard. I'm gonna go eat this and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so with the turkey, we're gonna have a slice of protein bread. Now, I wanna talk about this real quick. If you want the recipe for this, let me know. Um, it's homemade and it's three ingredients psyllium husk powder, pea protein powder, and egg whites. So we've been making this up like constantly. It's a great way to boost protein. It's a clean ingredient bread and actually tastes good. So we've been making about two loaves a week. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the inside. That looked tasty and it's spongy, really good. So I obviously like it toasted. So we're gonna toast it up, put butter on it and um, everything bagel seasoning because the flavor on this is like spot on with a bagel. Like the texture and everything is great. It's like a true bagel. Um, so anyways, if you want to see this in a quick video <laughs> with Kyle and I will make some protein bread, comment below. And now I'm just going to slice off two slices, which is around 100 calories, and it has 17 grams of protein, and I believe it was two net carbs. I have to double check that. But anyways, I'll slice this up, and we're going to have our toast. So I was chomping away at my piece of protein bread when I realized I forgot to take a video of it. So I just put about a quarter teaspoon of butter on my bread after I toasted it and then put some everything bagel seasoning. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so it's dinner time and I'm gonna make our dinner. We are gonna keep it simple. It's really nice outside, so we're gonna grill up like it's summer. So we're gonna do barbecue chicken tenders on the grill with a side of uh, peppers and onions, just roasted. Um, so let me turn the camera around. So this is the barbecue sauce that I'm using. It's really good. Um, I do recommend it. It's a real, it's a vinegar based sauce. So um, it's delicious. So I got this at my local store. If there's an Amazon link, I'll post it down below, but there's the ingredients. So I did a half cup to two pounds of chicken tenders. It's just marinating. I cut up 350 grams of green pepper. I put two tablespoons of avocado oil. That's what you see, the shiny part, and then a medium-sized onion. And I'll enter that all up in my macros. And we're just gonna wait till the grill preheats, and then we'll take this to the grill. Okay, so we have six ounces of chicken. Our peppers and onions are off the grill. I have calculated ahead of time 300, uh, 175 grams of pepper and 100 grams of onion. So there's uh, the finished product. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, and since I'm a little low on fat or in my macros, I have calories left, I'm gonna do a tablespoon of avocado oil. 
So I'm gonna put 15 grams of olive oil on top, just so I meet my macros. I forgot to put it back in grams. <laughs> There's five grams. All right, close enough, 12 grams. I don't wanna go over. See you later, guys. Stay with daddy. Okay, so they've just gone for a bike ride and it's mama's turn to get a bike ride, uh, to get a workout in. So let me put this tripod down so you can see what we're working with. All right, well, it seems like everybody's doing their lawn. Spring is here in Texas, so that means yard work has commenced, so sorry about the blower in the background. I'm getting my new gloves so that I don't wreck my precious little wimpy hands. <laughs> But today is Monday and that means it's leg day. So we're gonna go get some squats and all kinds of stuff in order. So anyways, let's get this video started.
everybody, workout done. And as you can see, it's dark out. <laughs> I wasn't able to get my workout in today, but I made sure to get it done because whatever it takes, right? That's why we have it at home. The kids are in the shower. I can get it all done in a day. <laughs> no excuses, whatever it takes.